So good afternoon everybody, good afternoon, hope you're all doing good. I'm currently sitting at uh, Stonehaven Golf Course, um, I'll flick around in a minute, let's let you see my view, but uh, back here today to go and reinvestigate a place that myself and Jack came to just a few weeks ago, um, when we did the kind of bay walk, but without knowing it, where we actually were, we were on the Highland Boundary Fault. Um, obviously millions of years ago and there used to be like platonic, 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 the plates used to move around the world. Um, Scotland was on the fault line, so this is the Highland Boundary Fault is still here, um, which obviously explains all the volcanic rock and things that we found last time. But I'm going to go back down and just look again, um, because you can still see bits of like yellow rock and orange rock, which is all the original um, boundary fault lava and stuff. I don't know what I'm speaking about. But anyway, you know what I mean, folks. It's, a, it's on a fault line. I'll put a wee map here so you can uh, so you can see it. Right, certainly it's very blustery today, folks. Very windy. Wasn't expecting this today after the forecast. But you should always come prepared. I've got my hat on. But I think this, uh, this is going to be just one of these noisy, windy videos. So I do apologise even with the mic on because the wind's so strong. It's uh, not ideal. But anyway, we'll keep going. So this is it here folks. This is the start of the Highland Boundary Fault. It goes all the way from the west coast right down here to the point there on the east coast. So there's some kind of footpath down here folks. Just follow it down as far as you can go. We also see a face in the rock there. So it's a lot more stormy than we came last time. It's quite calm last time we came down here, but today it's, it's just a typical Scottish February day. Just a tad stormy. I'm actually down in one of the, the craters, folks. Uh, a bit calmer down here because there's no wind. But look at that. Millions of years old. Look, this will be all volcanic ash back in the olden days. These plates have been moving about. This here could be one of the fault kind of lines, maybe. Right here. I'm sure there's anybody watching that's a, a volcanologist or an archaeologist. Honestly, me my wise today. Archaeologist. Archaeologist. You know what I mean? <laughs> you can tell me more, folks. But look at this. It's, just... it's like being on the moon. I'll try and climb up here, folks. It is very, very jagged. Um, so I'll give it a go, see how far up I can actually get. I'll try not to fall over. But hopefully, it's not too slippy. We get the wind noise again in a minute when I get to the. Here's some more uh, fault lines all the way up here, folks. Look, it goes all the way up. Actually, getting hard enough to walk over these rocks because there's no flat bits at all jaggedy volcanic bits so I'm going to go up just to this next bit as far as I can go folks and then I think it's just getting a bit too dangerous and the seagulls kind of dive over me as well there must be nests up here too so goddamn seagulls the thing is I'll get up here then I'll not get back because here it's awesome a big crevasse going all the way down there Thing is, folks, if you touch the water here, it's actually boiling hot because of the volcanic lava. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I'm only joking, folks. It's freezing, obviously. So I'm nearly at the end, folks. There's a lot more that sticks out. I just can't get there, though. It's a bit inhabitable. So I'm just going to 
got to the top here and that's as far as we're going to go I think. I think there's a big rock there, one there, another one just kind of sitting there. It's bizarre. I've kept going a bit but that's it. I'm not going any further. I don't know if you can hear me speaking because it's so windy. Sorry about the mic I've got. The mic never really picks up the good sound even when it's windy but never mind. So if you're ever in Stonehaven folks check out the Highland Boundary Fault right at the back of uh, Stonehaven Golf Course. It's on the second bay and this is called Garden Point. It's awesome and millions and millions and millions of years old. Right now, let's try and get back folks. <laughs> These are some of the unusual coloured stones you get here folks, the kind of multicoloured kind of stones. Right, so this one here. So Karen and Brian, if you're watching, I'm going to send you across just a small stone obviously because of the because of the cost of postage. But I'll send you across that stone and you can see you've actually got that from the Highland Boundary Fault, which is millions and millions of years old. So I'll send that across to you. I'll stick it in my pocket so I don't forget and I'll get myself one too. It's actually quite a lot of the stones here with the uh, the multicoloured on them. So these are all coming back with me. One for Jag, one for Karen and Brian, and a couple of spare ones. Going through this little gully to try and get back up to the, the top. But uh, it's very easy to get lost down here because uh, everything looks the same. Right, so it's a bit of a hike. Right, nearly done, folks. Oh. Right, that's part one done. Now I've got to get back across the next bit. Oh. Right, I feel like I'm down in the Grand Canyon or somewhere now, folks. Look at that up there. It's like another face. Yeah, I definitely see another chin, nose and eye there, folks, as well. This, looks, this is awesome down here. So nice. So that's where I was just a minute ago, folks. That's Garden Point there, the Highland Boundary Fault. I'm just going to be walking along this beautiful beach here. And I spotted a little tower or something up there, a little kind of hidden tower so let's go and investigate it's probably something from the war isn't this beach beautiful though folks Battery there, folks, and battery went a bit low there, so I'm carrying about three different things here. But um, yeah, so I think this is an old war defence, but I think I could walk on for miles here. There's just so much to kind of look at. But um, well, I've got the next one, I'm going to go to the next bit. Yes, I'm going to keep going. Uh -huh. There's no stopping me now, I'm getting in again, folks, going right to the edge here. But the wires flapping them out. thing on the top of the wee hill. There's an old building there which looks quite ancient but there's a path that goes up and I'm hoping that goes back up to the golf course because it does. That'll be an easier walk back. Um, but I see you can walk on for miles folks. There's another it's an old building's way along there but it's just too hard to walk to go. Yeah definitely gonna come back here and explore more folks. Right let's try this path and see when it goes hopefully say the golf course so here it is folks the hidden stonehaven viaduct 
if I remember right folks there's a hole that goes from that kind of cliff across to the next cliff and you've got to drive across it and then this path is the kind of the route between the two holes so I remember losing about five balls in here uh, still even golf courses honestly it's one of the hardest golf courses to play because there's three or four dips like this you've got to drive across so if your golf's rubbish like mine then you've got no chance Like they're saying on the bench here, folks, aspire to inspire before you expire. Love the memory of Mary and Tom McLean. Very nice, they've got a bench here. So I think the tea's right here somewhere, and then you have to whack across the valley. There's the viaduct right across to, to there. But I lost several balls in that ditch. It's a really hard hole, and it's further than it looks. But there is a path, I think, just up there. It takes me all the way back to the car park. So fingers crossed, folks.